What's up everyone, this is Namranan and today we'll be doing another m Monotype Laddering Tournament video. Uh, this time in particular though, we will be doing a bingo board instead of just randomly laddering. Because you can just watch me ladder on uh, during uh, my bug themed sessions, for example. So I feel like we should do something a little bit more special for MLT. So as you can see, we have a bingo board right here and we're going to try and fill out any of these slots right here after each match. So without further ado, let's get on to this. Um, you can pause the video if you want to read all these, but just know that these are like general stereotypes that you might find on the ladder. So without further ado, let's get this on. Also, I edited the rock theme a little bit from last time. Our Lunatone now has rock polish with a moon blast to help us with dragon and our tyranitar also has rocky helmet to help chip down opposing threats way better we lost earthquake in return for using endure though but i think it's all good um we got normal though which is one of our um i wouldn't say easier but i would definitely say it's a less rough matchup than most types all right so we got the taunt on obstagoon uh that's a free switch in for Terrakia. He's faster than me, so if he puts in Ditto, he gets Shuckle. Alright, so we get a free KO right here. Because I'm pretty sure Porygon 2 cannot take a close combat from Terrakia. Neither can Braviary, as you can see here. Um, he's probably going to put in uh, Ditto once whoever he puts in dies next turn. But if he puts in Ditto, then I just put in Shuckle, because Shuckle takes a CC really easily. He's gonna put in Ditto though, that, that has to be his play, because everyone else just gets threatened. Or he can put in Porygon 2 actually. Porygon 2 is fine, but Shuckle still is the play, yeah. Uh, he's not Trace or Download, so he's actually Analytic. That's weird. Alright, so we're gonna... Should I knock him off? Nah, I think I want to get uh, the webs up first. So that way, uh... Rockruff can actually put in some work. Even though, does it really matter? Nah, I'll put it down. Alright, so the Ndidi comes out. I think I'm gonna put down rocks to further pressure. Actually, no, I'll just put in Tyranitar right now, because he's not doing anything else to me. And the Encore comes out, we'll bait it out. Uh, Alright, we're going to Dragon Dance here. Obstacle comes out, hopefully we don't miss- oh wait, no, 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 okay. For some reason I thought that was Stone Edge. Actually, Crunch. Hopefully our Stone Edge doesn't miss though, because that would suck a lot. He probably has CC on Obstacoon. Oh damn, and he lives. I was not expecting that thing to live. Also, Rocky Helmet doesn't get knocked off because of Pokemon mechanics, so yeah, that's kind of a thing. Um, Alright, so the Ditto comes in now. Uh, he's probably going to use... I actually don't know what he's going to use. I guess we might as well scout, right? Oh, and he gave up before we even got to do anything, so yeah. Um, that was our first matchup. Uh, let's see. So, we didn't 6-0 in with one Pokemon. Let's take a look at the thing. So we didn't lose, so we can just ignore all of those. Uh, let's see. Did he have a suboptimal team? Mm, not really. His team wasn't really that bad. So, we can ignore that. Uh, no fear. Uh, no endure gimmicks. No whack plays. No, no rudeness. Nicknames were pretty okay. Uh, I think this is actually just a normal game. Yep. Uh, yeah, nothing really, nothing really strange about this game. That was very oddly normal. <laughs> Which is, yeah, no, that was, no pun was intended there at all, for the record. Um, <sighs> let's move on to our next game. Alright, we got another normal team. So it's the same story basically, just lead shuttle, do your nonsense, whatever, whatever. Just make sure that you don't lose either Rockruff or you know who. Um, I think 
this matchup, we want to have rocks so we can pressure Braviary as much as possible. Because we already outspeed pretty much everyone with a Terrakion, so we don't really care. Alright, um, I'm not sure if he's the thing or not, but I'll just go Lunatone just because. Alright, and then I'm going to go back into Shuckle. Alright, so we know... So actually, now we know he's Adamant. And we know that Lunatone is faster than him, so... Very good to know. Uh, we're going to Encore him. Alright, we Encored him into Belly Drum, so we're just going to... I mean, not Belly Drum, Body Slam. Body Slam is kind of a poor move to use against the... This type, anyway. I guess I'll knock him off. Got nothing else to do. Uh, I kind of don't want to. Actually, yeah, I can just use Close Combat here. Because Rockruff absolutely does not get screwed over by Snorlax. Yeah, he can choose to do that with Braviary here. Probably should have put in Terrakion to avoid that from happening, but it is what it is. Uh, he's probably going to try and quick attack me, which isn't going to end particularly well for him. Alright, uh, Meteor Beam should do enough damage to kill. Actually, you know what, we'll cap real quick. Um, I don't think Moonblast kills, though. Uh, so Lunatone... Ah, uh, yes, they're all using that, so, um... Obstigating. Uh, let's see, Meteor Beam. Wait, does this count the uh, plus one? I'm actually not sure if it counts the plus one or not. Do you have to count the plus one? Alright, I'm not sure how the calc actually works. If it actually works like how it's supposed to, so... Anyway, let me check what Moonblast does in real quick. Uh, Moonblast does a little bit more, but I think Meteor Beam should do a better amount of damage. Alright, yeah, so you do have to click the plus one in order to actually get the accurate amount. Pretty bad, honestly. Also, Rockruff is technically stronger than a uh, Terrakion, which is super weird, but I guess it's because he has a choice band, so I guess I shouldn't be super surprised. Um, anyway, we're going to send in Tyranitar, because I don't really trust uh, Ed to really take it super well. Alright, so we're going to counter here. Uh, he goes into heal. I, I was thinking he was going to do that, but I wasn't sure. So, I'm going to go into Lycanroc here. He clicks Focus Blast, which is super weird. Alright, uh... He's probably going to go into Diggersby. <clears throat> but he has to click, uh, Quick Attack with Diggersby. And yeah, now he's locked into that, I'm pretty sure, so... Actually, yeah, I just went right here. Pretty sure. Yeah, because now, uh, he can't kill me. <laughs> with, a uh, Terrakai on. Even with a critical hit, he can't do anything, so... Even if I win a tie here, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, I win a tie, but it doesn't matter because I would have beaten him anyway with a right barrier, so GG's. Very good GG's. Um, this team isn't... Eh, his team is kind of suboptimal actually because he's not running Chansey or Porygon too, so I guess we can mark that off. Guy has a suboptimal team, so you'll probably see on the, uh, on the video that... Uh, Probably at the end, I'll probably show like a picture of the bingo board that we have finished. So yeah, um, 
He got a suboptimal team, so we'll cross that off. Let's see what we get next. Alright, so we got a dragon team. Uh, dragon might be doable, especially this dragon, because it doesn't have Dracovish, which is a pretty big deal. Alright, um, he has combo right away, so we're gonna Encore him. He does do the Dragon Dance right away, so we're gonna put in Lunatone. Alright, crap. This isn't gonna be pretty. But, uh, actually, no, I think we might be fine. Yeah, just use Meteor Beam, we'll be fine. Because we moved before him, so Bolt Beak won't do that much yet. That's fine. So we still click Moonblast and kill him anyway. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Um, I think he's gonna click Sucker Punch here. At least that's what I think he's gonna do. What was that? That play made no sense. That play actually made zero sense. Why would you click Phantom Force when there's a Lunatone with Meteor Beam right in front of you? That made no sense. That play was actually terrible. I don't understand that play at all. I really don't. Alright, so he Dragon Dances again. And he's gonna use Aqua Tail. Alright, fine. You know what? You can just take my shuttle. I don't care. Go ahead, take my shuttle. I'll just counter you. Doesn't matter. <sighs> Hopefully, that actually kills him. Yeah, that killed him. Good. Alright, um. We're now down a shuttle and we're down hazards, but I think we should still be fine. Alright, so he's going to use Focus Blast on his Gooj- Blunder Paul? Oh my god. <sighs> this is just getting worse and worse as we go, isn't it? Alright, well, as long as we don't- if we lose, then we get to cross off something, because he's using a trash gimmick. So yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, I think we can still win with, win with Lycanroc here. Also- yeah, his team was super trash. What the I just realized I just I just got hit by a, a cursed dragon bolt. What in the hell is going on? Alright, this should kill. Yeah, this kills. Uh, poison point unfortunately does hit me. Alright, uh Dragon Bolt comes out. Um, he can't curse me again. And if he does curse me again, he gets screwed over. Yeah, goodbye. Unless he decides to Phantom Force here. Alright, no, he doesn't. Wait, shouldn't he be dead? Yeah, I think you already knew I had Rocky Helmet, bro. Um, we'll sack Lunatone here, and we just win with Lycanroc at this point. Doesn't matter what he does. Alright, and now we just put in Lycanroc and win the rest of the game. Easy peasy, wasn't even a problem at all. Even with his trashy gimmick sets, he still wasn't able to win because he's just a bad player. And also a really bad team builder, so there's that. But yeah, GG's. Um, so, let's see. So he had a super trash team, but we didn't lose. We didn't lose, so we can't cross off a lose to a trash gimmick. Which is unfortunate. Uh, his team didn't get 6 0 by a single Pokemon, too. I could have um, gotten this with Lunatone, but I think. I think I misplayed with Lunatone, so that's why we didn't get that. Which is truly unfortunate, but it is what it is, right? But yeah. Um, 
Oh, we got another fellow MLT person here. Uh, he's also using Dragon, but he's using Dragon with a uh, Dracovish. So I'm going to try and lead Rhyperior, see what happens. Because every time I don't lead the Rhyperior, they always lead Dracovish. So I'm just going to try and do it this time and see what happens. Gonna give him the good luck, have fun. Alright, um... Come on. I hope he puts in Dracovish here because... Okay, yeah, he put in Dracovish. Great. Um, we're gonna counter immediately. I'm not sure if... Oh god, he knows. He knows my set. Okay, that's not good. If he knows my set, then he knows me as a player. And I have to rely on them just not knowing and autopiloting immediately. Yeah, no, and I don't especially defensive shuckle, so... Yeah, this is gonna be rough, not gonna lie. I can still win here, though. I think I just need to, like... Yeah, I just need to create an opening for Limitone to get a rock polish and then I immediately win the game. Or at least I think so, because even with Gudra, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do much. Also I think I might be able to drop Rhyperior, uh, thanks to this new T-Tar set, because it basically covers everything I need. Ugh, this is really annoying. Uh, and I, I misplayed. Yeah, no, this is gonna end really poorly. He's definitely uh, Sash Duraludon too. So, yeah, this isn't gonna end well, is it? Yeah, because he knew the uh, Rhyperior set, I wasn't able to get rid of his Dracovish first thing. And he te bro, he knows my entire team. It's crazy. Yeah, no, I couldn't win because he just knew my entire team. There's nothing I can do to really win that match because even though I can like try and win, he has Dragapult and he could just switch into close combat at any time. So there was nothing I could do to win that match. Um, we didn't lose to a trash gimmick at all. He just had a good team, and he just didn't lose because he knew how to play the game properly, so... I expect nothing less from an MLT ladder. Um, we'll put up Sticky Webs first, because I want to slow down Dracovish. Alright, puts in Beriscuta. is probably going to kill me, so... See, liquidation. I'm surprised that didn't kill me. Also, he's not even. Oh man, that's that's rough. Yeah, I think choice band probably killed me. Also, the hex there did not matter. I can't put in Ed because I need him for Dracovish. So we're just gonna put in friendship real quick. I think we're gonna endure here because I think he's gonna definitely click CC. All right, he didn't click CC, but. Click something arguably worse. Uh, we'll take the double. Yeah, we got the double. Alright, and uh, he's just gonna get his bear skewed to super worn down. Um, I think I want to keep Tyranitar there because, uh, well, obvious reasons. Like uh, getting rid of Rain, for example, that would have been a really good thing to keep him for. And yeah, now his entire team just kind of like runs over me, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it does. Probably didn't play that properly. Also, it would have been nice if I got rocks up, because I could have stopped Cloyster. Again, this is getting rough. Things are looking dire. Alright, his Pelipper is gone now, but probably too little too late. I 
Alright, the Dracovish comes out. He's probably definitely going to kill me with Choice Scarf. Yep, Choice Scarf. Um, gonna show to you guys right now why I needed Rain to be gone. It's because he Oko's me, even with Pasho Berry. So yeah. There was nothing I could do there. Uh, he just had to spam water moves and he basically just won. But yeah, I think on the next uh, episode of this uh, thing, I'm gonna probably drop Rhyperior most likely. Because I think I want to use uh, Hazard Remover instead, like a Colossal. Colossal is also going to help me a ton against Steel and other types, so I think I really want to have him on the team. Alright, so he uses Rock Slide against a Rock Team, which is kind of stupid. Alright, we're going to spam Stone Edge here. Hopefully we don't miss, and he's just not choice. He's probably Sheer Force, yeah. Actually, I think all of them are Sheer Force. I don't know what I'm saying. He's probably... He's definitely a Sheer Force. <clears throat> um, I think Torkoal is supposed to die. Okay, he does not die. He's gonna just rapid spin. Yep. Um, we're gonna Stone Edge again. Then get rid of Sun, because he doesn't have any other Sun Setters. Yeah, we'll just get rid of Sun now. That crit probably won't matter. Um, we're gonna put down rocks. Basically, make Charizard take a lot more damage when he comes back in, because he will come back in. All right, Cinderace. We're gonna encore him into Court Change. He's gonna be forced to switch out, so we're just gonna put up our own rocks again, because he doesn't want to switch that back in. All right, um, we're gonna encore again. We're not going to put down webs because Cinderace is just going to core change those. Alright, we're now going to knock that off. Uh, he has a choice scarf, not surprising. <laughs> oh my god, Hungry Hippo HD needs to leave me alone, man. Just let me ladder with whatever type I want. For those of you who don't know, by the way, I actually did make it to the previous MLT installment by just using fighting. You can ask anyone who was there while I was doing it. Um, it was a very stressful process, for sure, because fighting was a terrible type back then, but I did do it, and I'm proud of myself for doing it. And I still think it's one of my greatest accomplishments as a player, so that's why I just have as much confidence as I do with like running slightly underwhelming types on the ladder. But yeah, we do end up taking this rather easily. Um, I forgot to check this, actually. I don't think I really lost a Hex so much as I just lost to the decent teams that had a favorable matchup. Um, yeah, I don't think I ran into any of these. At all. Yeah, I don't think I ran into any of these. Actually, wait. Hang on. Okay, no, he had a water immunity, so yeah, that wasn't viable. But this will be the last game uh, before we uh, wrap this up. <clears throat> oh, and it's against Adjustments. How fun. Adjustments is an MPL player, by the way. Very famous. And, uh,. He is a pretty good player, because obviously, yeah, if you get into MPL, you're pretty much one of the best players in the game, so... Yeah, this is probably going to be a tough game, especially since he's using one of the uh, more rough types that require a lot of... Well, actually, this isn't as bad, because he doesn't have Dracovish. But he does still have uh, Duraludon, which could be Scarf. Even though, nah, it could be Scarf, because I'm pretty sure he's one of those players that doesn't think Rocks is super necessary anymore because of the boot spam. So, he might be Scarf Duraludon. We'll see, we'll see. Um, let's see. We're gonna put up Rocks first, and then we're gonna put up Webs, basically forcing him to uh, either keep the Rocks or, you know, 
die. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Alright, so he's gonna put in Hydreigon. We're gonna Encore his Hydreigon, obviously. Um, he spams Dark Pulse, interesting. Um, I guess Dark Pulse keeps Lunatone out, which is pretty fair. Alright, his Noivern doesn't have Heavy Duty Boots, which is interesting. He has Choice Scarf, actually. Very odd. Ooh, he wants to switch out immediately. Yeah, he wants to switch out. Okay, he does not switch out. Not a good play. Because now I Rock Polish. And Meteor Beam. Hopefully this hits. And I think I win if, I, if this hits. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I win now. <sighs> Oh, snap! I forgot about, uh, First Impression, Haxorus. Yeah, that's to force me out. I can't deal with that. Yeah, no, that definitely killed me. I'm pretty sure that killed me. I did not make a misplay there. Um... Yeah, I did that for Hydreigon, just to cover that option. Dragalge is now dead, for sure. Uh, his Duraludon is faster than me. Which, I mean, shouldn't be surprising, but it's a little surprising for me. Uh, he has Body Press, though. Does that mean he has Flash Cannon? Honestly, don't know. Alright, um, no. We should probably use Endure just to see if he uses body press again. Yeah, he uses body press again. Um, I think I should rock polish again here. No, don't even bother. Uh, yeah, because he's just going to put in Haxorus again. Goodbye, Lunatone. Alright, um, I think we're gonna have to s click Stone Edge constantly. This is gonna come down to, uh, hacks, essentially. Yeah, this is gonna come down to hacks. We have to Stone Edge as many times as possible. Yeah, got hacks. Um, I'm still faster though, so Stone Edge should hit again. He lives on one. That's crazy. Alright, yeah, we need that early kill so that... Alright, does he have clear body? Yeah, he has clear body. Yeah, I think I lost regardless. Okay, he dragon dances, which is pretty weird. Um, I guess he was expecting me to switch out. Yeah, I think that was what he was expecting me to do. And honestly, I could see why you would think I'd do that, but I, I'm i not sure if I agree with that play, to be honest with you. Because, let's see, let me just roll back to that, because this is the last battle, so... Yeah, I missed the Stone Edge here. Hit him here, he lives on one. So, we get into this situation, so... I guess right here, I could have definitely switched out into Terrakion, expecting him to use like a... Actually, I don't know, I literally, he hasn't revealed a move, so I wouldn't know what kind of set he's running. I'd probably predict he'd be using special, because his uh, Neuralodon was body press. But uh, yeah, if I switched out into Terrakion, I'm pretty sure I, lo I lost, because I guess he must have thought like... Yeah, actually, that makes sense as a play I could have done, because I could have definitely went out into Terrakion uh, on whatever move he used that wouldn't have killed me, uh, used Stone Edge, because I resist Sucker Punch, and then have won the game just by using uh, Accelerop twice. So yeah, I guess he was expecting that, because that was my only play. So yeah, I guess I did kind of... I can ex I can see what play he was expecting me to go for there.
Yeah, I can see why he thought I would go for that play, but I guess my play wasn't super bad either, because like, it really, it literally just covered the option of him using Dragon Dance and it outspeeding my Terrakion, so... Yeah, I'm not sure if that was really a terrible exchange, but it was an exchange alright. But yeah, we do end up taking a game off of adjustments, which is pretty good. And yeah, that'll do it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, I'll be, I hope you guys enjoyed the new music, by the way. I heard you guys complaining about having me running the same music over and over again. And to be honest, I also really didn't like it either, but I wanted to do it just to save time on editing. But since you guys want me to have a playlist now, I'm, I've made that change as you've requested. So, without further ado, this has been Namernan, and I hope you all have a great day.